Hi, I'm the App Man, and here is the App of the Week. Our App of the Week for this week is called Skeletal Head and Neck Pro 3. So when you open the app up, this is what it looks like. It shows you a skeleton, full-size skeleton over in the top left-hand corner. And in the big section, shows you a close-up of the head of the skeleton. And with your finger, swiping left or right, you can rotate the skeleton's head all the way around so you can see all the different aspects of it. And as it indicates here at the bottom, if you slide down, you can look at the neck. So it pulls up all the neck bones, the vertebrae there, so you can look at those. Then you can go back up and look. This is the interior superior neck. If you look over on the left, you see these six different little pictures here. You can select those to go to that image or that view that you want to look at. So this is looking at the posterior, the back of the neck, the lateral, the right lateral, right lateral superior, right lateral inferior, and the anterior. You click up here where it says skull, take you back to the skull view. Now you can slide downward and it'll show you the top of the skull. Slide it back up, you slide it up and now you can look underneath the skull, the inferior view. And again, you can slide it all around and get all kinds of different look of it. If you take your fingers, two fingers, and slide, pull away from each other, you can enlarge the view so you can get right up on them. And then you pinch in to take it back to the size, the regular size. Now down in the bottom right it says hence on and off. If you click that so that it turns it on, now it'll tell you what you need to do to make it change views. So you can drag to cut, pull down for superior view, swipe to rotate, drag to cut. Pull up for inferior view, double tap to zoom in, double tap to zoom out. If you drag, you can cut it open so you can see inside the skull bone. Now if you look, there are all these menu items all over the place. There's several menus here. So in the top menu, you have nav, index, map, quiz, and then this section here where the little head and then it says head or the little house and it says head and neck and right lateral school that just tells you where you're at in the app so if you click on say head and neck it takes you right back to the head and neck view or if you click on the little house it takes you to the home screen which is where we're at okay the nav is what you're in you're navigating around through the system now if you look at the little, uh, we'll go to the index. So you click on the index. This shows you all the different parts, all the different sections that you can look at on the head and neck. Interior cranial fossa. So if you select that, it'll show you where it is. It puts a little pin there so you can see. 
and then tells you about it. Then you click on the little eye for information. The anterior cranial fossa is the floor of internal base of the skull. It is anterior to the sphenoidal ranges and is formed by frontal ethmoid and sphenoid bones. Frontal lobes of the brain rest here. So this implies there's a sound. So I don't know if you could hear that, but it tells you, it just repeats what the name is so you can understand it. If you can't pronounce it, it'll tell you how it's pronounced. You can add a note if you want to put a note there. And then public notes, if you're connected online, you'd have to log in to do that. You can have any notes that anybody else has put on there. You can look at those. So in your index, you can select any of these things, and it'll tell you all about whatever it is. So this is showing you in the menu, sub-menu here, it shows you the pins, my pins, media. So these are the pins that are out here. Each one of these in the index represents a pin. <coughs> You don't see the pins because we haven't shown them to you. But if you go over to the menu on the right, you can select pins and it shows you where all the pins are. And then you can select a pin to get more information about that pin. Find out what it is and then you can select it to get more information. You can even add a pin if you think there's something there that you don't see. For instance, you don't see pins on every single tooth, so you could add one to another tooth or whatever to identify what that tooth is, and then you could put notes on it and such. And that's where my pins would be, which we don't have any at this time. And then medias. So for each one of these in the index here, there's a media file for it. So let's look at cervical spine lateral flexion as you can see it's loading it up so here's a video showing how the movement of that is it tells you the movement it tells you the range of motion zero degrees to 35 degrees and there's no audio with that it's just showing you how it moves Look at the scapula and clavicle elevation. So that too shows you movement, elevation, range of movement, zero degrees to 40 degrees. So it shows you from a posterior view, the back view, and the left lateral, what it would look like. And we go up to map. I haven't really figured out what the map does other than if you select sub parts of it, like here we're on the skull, and so it's showing us the skull. But if we skull, do skull L2, it'll fill in down here the little membrane or whatever that's in between the bones there. So if we select skull, you can see they're not there anymore. But if we do skull 2, they are there. Then we can do neck, and then neck 2 puts more, maybe it's the cartilage or something, but it's still there. So that's the map. Quiz will allow you to set the options up for the quiz. You can turn sound effects on or off. Choose the systems that you wish to be tested on. Individual pins can be selected in settings, so you can set that up. Choose the areas which you wish to be tested on, you can set that up. A timer if you want to get bonus scores for timing it. A quiz type, you can have the drag and drop or the multiple choice. So then you can either quit the quiz or start the quiz. We'll start it. I'm not going to do very well, but we'll start it anyway. 
So we're going to drag and drop, drag and drop the bubble to appropriate pin. Mandalu Mandibular foramen. I have no idea. We're going to say that's. Uh, we're going to put that one right there. Diplo. We're going to put that one right there. It's wrong, but we're going to put it there anyway. We're going to put that one there. We're going to put that one there. And I got all four of them wrong. Okay, so when you get it wrong, then it shows you where they are to be, which ones go where. So we'll show you the correct answers. Well, so we got some more here. Drag and drop this one. That's wrong, but we'll put it there anyway. We're going to put that there. Uh, we'll put that there. And we'll put that one there. I got one right. Yes. Okay, so with this one will go on. This is just the third part of 12. So I'm not going to go through the whole test, but it gives you an idea what it is. You can also, down here in the bottom, you can either pass this section so you don't want to take this section, and then you can reset the tape. So reset, it goes back out, and then you can start it whenever you want to start. Go back to your nav. We'll go back to our interior. Now, over on the left, on the right, you see this other menu here. The top one is to add a layer. which changes the menu system down here so you can look at the in the bottom left so you can look at the anterior lateral lateral posterior and right lateral and you can just go through those four if you remove layers now it brings up the six views as well as gives you a couple more options so there's eight eight views you can look at there You can mix the layers, so you can look at just skull, skull with lateral two. We'll just go with that. Now the pins, I showed you the pins before. You can view all the pins or none of the pins, as well as add pins. Video, there's no video at this section, but if you pull the pin up, if the pin has it, it probably will show you the pin. Now there's a pin, so if you're an instructor and you wanted to use this in your class, then you could select a pin, have this connected, your iPad connected to a projector, and then you select the pin, and then you could draw on the skull where you wanted, say, identify this section, what would this part of the skull be called, whatever you may need. These are the what on the necks, whatever. So you can draw pretty much anything you want to on there. Then you can deselect the pen to get rid of it and then start over by selecting the pen again. Then if you do the colored, now it shows different colors to the different parts. which just gives it a, a, a different look and kind of nice look. Okay, and then in the top right corner, you see there's four more menu items. The first one will allow you to share. So you can share with Facebook, through email, or through Twitter. The second one is for all your pins, so you can rename a pin if you needed to, or have it not show up. The third one is for information about the app, as well as you can go to their website and view other apps. This is not the whole app. As you can see over here, there's the skull and the whole skeleton. 
If you select anywhere on the skeleton other than the skull or neck, it'll tell you available only in the Skeletal System Pro 3. So there is a pro version of this that gives you the entire skeleton. It costs uh, $20 at this time, but it may well be worth it for any of you teaching anatomy or teaching any of the science classes that may need or nursing classes that may need to know these different parts of the bones and such. And then there's a help. So there's help videos, short tutorial, uh, quick reference views and cuts. So here's a video showing you how to cut the how to cut it. You can do it down the middle or down the middle the other way. Again, all kinds of different videos here to help you. And so that is the skeletal and neck. Pro 3 app.